Hey guys, Zaki with another Command & Conquer Red Alert video. In this game, I'm playing Quick Match on the map North v Northwest. I'm starting in the top position, position playing as the Allies. So I'm playing a player called Austin Knight. I think I'll call him Austin for e ease of uh, pronunciation. Um, and as you can see, I've got my construction yard down and I'm building towards that middle spot. You always build towards the middle spot on this game map, on this map because it does have gems there. So it just makes it a lot more efficient. And you can see us getting out some uh, troops straight away. And you'll notice I build 20 here. I just build a few more because uh, it is really important that you have the troop numbers on this map. Uh, if you build 15, it can sometimes be a little too too little and your opponents can sometimes push through but you can see our opponents are there and you can see the barracks is a bit located a bit closer so i'm sort of like having to think that uh they may be a bit behind us in sort of building the ore refinery and things like that uh, but we're gonna we're gonna be sort of like uh spacing our troops out making sure they're not able to go for my ore truck or anything like that and making sure they don't uh, get to my ore refinery because that's one of the things that can happen if you don't build enough troops the other team can break through and get an attack on your ore refinery and take that out but it looks like they're not uh, being too aggressive right at this time being and i'm going to get my first barracks out and immediately i'm going for those light tanks and it's all about speed in this game you need to get them out as quickly as possible and you can see those troops spreading out now. I'm just uh, moving my troops in order to defend against that. And you can see him pulling those troops back. Um, but what I want to do is I'm going to be wanting to get my tanks out nice and early. You can see my first light tank is here. And I'm bringing that uh, forwards. And you can see I'm going to sell my barracks off because I'm not going to need that anymore. And I'm going to build that second war factory. And I'm going to build a small power plant and you can see I've got my ore refinery there ready. Uh, well, my power plant there ready. And you can see, now we're going on the attack. It looks like Austinite doesn't have enough um, enough ta light tanks. Because you can see my tank numbers are great at the moment compared to his. And well, I'm still going to lose one though. Um, that's a bit uh, so a bit of a mess uh, there with losing that tank. Because uh, I've got the better tank numbers. So I should get the upper hand in this fight. Uh, you can see he's done quite well with that micro. He has got an actual... Uh, pillbox there as well but you can see us starting to take those tanks out and now because we've got superior tank numbers we're going to go for the ore refinery and this is going to be very bad uh, for Austin and that ore refinery is down and I'm just going to pull my tanks back in case he goes for an attack on my base in retaliation but you can see his tank numbers are too low and what we're going to need to do is make sure we keep on the pressure and not give him a chance to recover because if he does get another ore refinery out if he does have the funds for that then that's going to be a little bit of trouble you can see him pushing up to my part of the base uh, but he just doesn't have the tank numbers and I'm going to take uh, some of my troops down and hold some of them back although it seems like he's coming back to my base so I can take a few more um, back there and you can see now going for the war factory and I'm going to just move my ore truck so it's mine uh, it's taking gems off the other side so those tanks aren't in the position they are now I'm trying to go for his power so he's going to have a slow building speed because I think he, he'll probably sold his construction yard at this point and you can see us taking out those tanks and it looks like we're going to be uh, in no trouble at all I've just been very very cautious because Osnite is a high ranked player I after this match, he was actually ranked 15. And last at the end of last season, he was ranked in the top 10. So we just need to be very, very careful. You can see that ore truck sitting in my ore refinery. But I'm not too worried about that because I've got the better tank numbers. And his base is completely gone. So we're going to take out that last pillbox. So let's take that out. And it, well, it looks like there's still something there still left. Um, but I can't see any uh, threat and you can see there's a power plant there still and he's saying the tactics didn't work out well for him um, So we're gonna get that power plant out and that is game over um, So yeah, uh, very uh, good win for myself And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at what happened in that game and where it went wrong for Austin so we're having a look now. You can see our barracks are up at the same time. So I was a bit wrong in that game because I thought I was going to be ahead because of where my barracks was placed. I thought because he was further up the map, um, he was going to 
be delayed, but uh, that was not the case for that point. You can see he's bought a rocket trooper now, and you can see he's using that rocket trooper to destroy that gem there. So let's see what happens there. That gem's destroyed, he takes his troops off, and he builds a pillbox. So what he's done is he's built a pillbox there, and that'll delay his ore refinery and his build order. Um, and I think I, all I can assume is his pillbox was there to like help protect his ore refinery because if he was building his ore refinery outside his base like this, it was going to be less protected. And if the other person built a lot of troops, then they could potentially uh, get an attack on it and destroy it. Uh, but the thing is, he's delayed so much. And I actually did a like count of w from where my ore refinery was produced. And it was actually over 20 seconds. I think it was about 22 seconds between our first ore refineries going down. And that means his war factories are going to be delayed by that much as well. And that's just too much. Right, so this is our second match. This is on Bullseye. And you can see I've started in the bottom left position. And I'm still playing as the allies, of course, we both are. Because that's the uh, opponent, that's uh, teams we choose to use in quick match games. And you can see I'm just uh, building my troops now. I'm only building 15 this time because I just want to... Um, be a little bit more conservative and um, this map doesn't require you to build as many troops unless your opponents do like an infantry attack early on and you can see me sending my troops to the main points across the map and yeah I'm just there uh, trying to block all these points and get a bit of visibility in the middle of the map which is very important and get a bit of visibility on the base um, right now so I'm getting that first ore refinery down and I'm going to be building that war factory. And he tends to be quite uh, quite conservative. I'm just having a little look there actually. He seems to have got a bit of scouting. He's managed to block my vision off the uh, middle of the map. So I'm going to need to uh, go around there and try and get a bit more vision and see if there's anything coming my way. I've got those uh, troops protecting the back of my base as well because he did have some scouts uh, looking around the middle of the map. Um, so I'm just going to have a look here just to see if there's anything uh, coming through into my base. Um, I'm looking okay at the moment. I'm going to start building two off trucks. And you can see there's actually some troops there. I was a bit, uh, I didn't, uh, and that's the, that I should have been a bit better with my, uh, with getting those troops in the middle of the map earlier on for scouting. And you can see he's got a few troops here. Uh, they're going for my construction yard. I'm just building a few infantry. I'm just trying to group them together, but otherwise they're all gonna die. And you can see now he's going for the attack on my construction yard. Fortunately, he's allies, so he doesn't have any bombermen. And I'm gonna be building that second, uh, that second ore refinery, which is not in a good position at all. And I'm gonna be building a pillbox. I've actually clicked on the wrong pillbox. I've built a cam camouflage pillbox instead of like the normal one, uh, which I was meant to. Uh, but now we've got that pillbox down. We should be okay. But uh, we've got uh, damage to that power plant, uh, which I'm going to need to sort out straight away. And you can see that pillbox taking those infantry out. So we have survived it, but we're in big trouble because we're a long way behind on our build order. And now I'm going to be building my second over war factory. So we've got a misplaced ore refinery and we're well behind on the build order. So this is trouble for us. And uh, unfortunately, pa uh, Austin didn't build that many infantry. So it's not like he's going to be compromised in the economy department. And we're we'll bringing some light tanks forward just to hope that he doesn't... Uh, because um, I think it's better than waiting for those light tanks to come in. I'm just getting a bit of visibility on what's going on in his base and see what he's planning. Uh, so we've got that second war factory out now, so we've got our tank building speed is going to be a bit quicker. But we can see he's got a lot of, lot of tanks there, and I'm going to have to pull back and regroup to what nearer my base. Uh, because his tank numbers are just too good at this point in time. You can see it's sort of like three tanks against six or something, so I'm going to need to pull back and get my get him, get them closer to my tanks. Uh, you can see there he's got about seven tanks uh, to my six. He's got another two there, so that's going to be nine tanks. And... This isn't looking good for us right at this current time. Uh, you can see I've got a few tanks. I think I've got six tanks. Well, seven tanks. I've got another one coming in. So he's still got the better tank numbers. But I am going to have to take this fight sooner or later. Because I can't afford him to get close to my base. 
And you can see a 10th tank, tank, tank coming in there. Right, so you can see the fight is going on. Uh, we're just trying to be quite conservative, move our tanks around, not try and dive in too much, uh, keep our tanks back. And we managed to get a couple of tanks down. Uh, so there's a couple of tanks that are red there. And it's not looking too bad for us at the time being. Uh, but you can see he has got the better tank numbers. So again, I'm going to have to pull back. And that's what was sort of was expected. I'm just building all refineries at the same time. But you can see those tank numbers are just a little bit better. And you can see I'm trying to gauge now while, he, while he's stationary and uh, get a couple of tank kills. And that was a good tank kill there. But now he's back to moving them again. And you can just see the tank numbers are too great. And it's just that start of the game. I just, yeah, I just, uh, did, I got caught out by that infantry attack. I didn't quite prepare very well. And that's the consequences. You fall behind and it just snowballs from there. And you can see now he's got superior tank numbers. And this is game over. He's in my base. He's going to destroy those. And I'm trying to sell my construction yard. I should have done it a bit earlier. But uh, there you go. His tank numbers are too great. And it is good game. So I'll just sell up now. So it's one of those cases where the early infantry attack worked. Even though he didn't get any buildings down, he did manage to delay my build order. And that's what cost me the game in the end because he was always ahead. And what I'm going to do is we're going to take a look at what his base looked like. Um, like when we got into the game. So what this t this was the time that he was expanding to the second or patch. Because that's uh, one of the things uh, both of us were doing. And what you'll see is he based that, he's placed his ore refinery down there. And what he also did from his war factory is he built another ore truck. So he was well ahead in terms of the ore department. So for most of the match he had two ore trucks for more than me at all times. Because he was starting to build more ore refineries. And his second ore refinery was about 20 odd seconds ahead of my second ore the ore refinery that went on the second ore patch for me. So it just snowballed from there. So he was always going to have the ability to produce more tanks. So that's uh, that. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.